this is Ahura with another video about trend trading strategy and how we can get advantage of that. Trend trading is kind of trading method which investors or traders want to make money based on assets momentum in a particular direction. When the price moves in an overall approach such as an up or down, that we call it a trend. Let's go to the chart and see how it works and how we can use it. So, as I told, the trend is overall direction of the asset movement, and it can be uptrend, it can be downtrend, or it can be side movement. Uptrend means when the asset creates higher high and higher low. Downtrend means when the asset creates lower high and lower low. And side movement means when the asset cannot create any higher high or lower low, and it moves usually between two specific numbers. Traders and trend traders usually they buy when the asset moves in a higher when the asset moves in uptrend and they sell when the asset moves in a clear downtrend and when the asset moves in a side movement when it has a side movement they used to buy and sell between these numbers and use the advantage of that when you want to trade based with the trade uh, trend trading strategy there are some indicators that can help you much better than ours. First of all, the mean, uh, moving averages. Moving averages can help you to find the trend, to realize that either if it moves in an up or down trend. And when the price moves above your moving averages, it means that your asset, the asset that you want to trade, it has an uptrend. And the RSI here can help you to understand either the current trend that you want to count on that and you want to make a trade based on that, does it have enough power? And when your RSI moves, for example, if your asset moves in uptrend and your RSI above 55, it means that your current trend has enough power to continue its way. And when you are in a downtrend and your RSI is lower than 45, it means that your trend has enough power in a downtrend to continue its way. When you want to buy in an uptrend, firstly make sure that your RSI is above 50 and especially above 55 and your OBV, create, bring your OBV in your chart as well and your asset moves above your OBV trend line. Here, look at the OBV trend line. It's the side movement here, but overall it moves above, up, above the over, uh, OBV trend line. So, OBV trend line supports the uptrend, the price is above moving averages and RSI is more than 55. It means that you can count on a buy position. But where is the best place to buy? When your asset moves in a clear uptrend, the best place to buy is the place when the price is made some correction on its way of the uptrend, like for example here. And in correction, it cross one of your moving averages. For example, if you are trading an H4 chart, 20 and 50 period moving averages can help you. When your price cross down or breaching under your 20 moving averages, it means that it's a good place to buy. For example, for gold, here's a, from here, it means the price of, uh, you could buy in 1860, which right now is 1900, uh, 1900. So here, only like $50 lower than current level. Here, when the price cross the 20, uh, moving average 20 period moving average it, it means that it's a good place to buy why the, because the price moves in a clear uptrend and it's a sign of buy signal it says buy signal in an uptrend and your stop loss here can be a bit lower than your 50 day moving average your 50 period moving averages so here is a good place to buy again here it was a good place to buy again here it was a good place to buy and again here it was a good place to buy so in an uptrend, there, these indicators, moving averages, RSI and OBV, can help you for three different reasons. Moving averages, firstly, can help you to understand that your asset moves in an uptrend or downtrend, which is here is an uptrend. RSI will confirm that either your current uptrend has enough strength or enough power to continuously or not, and OBV can confirm that your uptrend has enough volume and this market volume will it support your current uh, trade or trend or not 
It's the same exactly in a downtrend. When you are trading in a, when you want to trade in a downtrend, make sure that your price in a chart is moves under your main moving averages. It, it, your price is under your OBV trend line and your RSI is lower than 50 and especially lower than 45. It means that your train is getting support with the market volume. It's the uh, market volume is low. And it helps you, to, RSI helps you to tell that either your trend in a downtrend, when especially it's a lower than 45, that your downtrend has enough power to continue its way. And again, moving averages firstly help you to understand that it's in a downtrend. And finally, can tell you when is the best place to buy. Again, in a downtrend, for example, in a daily chart or H4 chart, 20 period daily, uh, 10, 20 period moving average can specify the place that you can enter to the market. For example, here, then the price is touching 20 period moving averages. Again, here could be the best, could be the good place to enter to the market. So look here, uh, and then again in lower price, this is a chart of the USD Chinese yuan in 6.48. And in 6.43, both of them, both of them, they were the good places to enter in the market as a sell position. So here, this can be your position to enter, and 20, uh, 20 moving, 20 period moving average can tell you the place and the limits that you can enter to the market, and 50 period can help you to find the best stop loss. Make sure that your stop loss is. A Above, a little bit above your 50 period uh, moving averages in a downtrend or under 50 period moving averages in your uptrend. And when you, are, you want to trade in a side movement, when your asset moves in a side movement, make sure to find the best uh, places with the higher and the lower uh, range of your lower level of your range. When you find your range, for example, in a gold, the range is between 27.48 or 27.50, let's call it, in the down, and 28.10 uh, in, in, in the higher level uh, or uh, upper line in, of your range. So you can sell when your asset, uh, when the silver comes to 28.10, you can buy when it comes to 27.50. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, as long as the asset wants to uh, break out this range and get out of this range and then to create a new trend. As long as, but as long as it moves between uh, in, in, in the range or it moves in a side movement, you can buy and sell in the lower and the higher uh, levels of your range. Make sure when it's in a side movement, it means that your 50 and 20 uh, period moving averages also they are under each other they cannot also tell you that asset moves in which direction so just look at here this is the uh, forming of the moving averages 20 and 50 period moving averages when your asset moves in a side movement and look here when, when your asset moves in a clear downtrend both of these uh, moving averages they are above your asset price and when it's in the uptrend both of them they are under your asset price so this is how you can use the as how you can use uh, the trend trading make sure firstly you never go against uptrend use the 20 period moving averages to find the best place to buy confirm it with the RSI either your trend has enough power or not and with OBV that either the market volume supports your uh, current trend or not, find your stop loss a little bit under 50 period moving averages when it's in uh, uptrend and a little bit above 50 period moving averages when it's in a downtrend. And when you want to trade in a side movement, trade between higher and lower range of your uh, the, the higher level and lower level of your assets range, created range. So this is how you can use the trend trading and what is trend trading uh, in a short video. Thanks for watching this video and hope it was helpful for you. You can use the link below this video, register with us and start your trading right away.